you need for this project an Arduino Uno board. I'm using the Arduino Uno R3. So you also need this driver. That's the end 298N DC motor driver. I'll be using a push button. So I'm going to connect the push button on this side of the breadboard. Like that. Next, we uh, start the setup. Okay, now I'm going to connect my DC motor to output uh, one and uh, two of the DC motor drive. So that's the uh, the first wire is the output one. This one is the output two of the DC motor driver. Okay, so this output will be uh, delivering. PWM signal okay to vary the speed so uh, his wire is attached to ground pin of the Arduino Uno okay now this wire uh, so um, this black wire and uh, this one also both of them uh we'll share okay uh, are connected to ground pin of the uh, of the dc motor driver the arduino uno and the dc motor driver both share the same ground and also the power supply that uh, we're gonna be using okay the power supply the DC motor driver and the, the Arduino Uno share the same uh, ground, okay? They have a common ground. So, this uh, yellow wire from the uh, push button will be attached to, um, to Arduino pin 3. Let's move on. Now... Um, you, you you need to remove okay we're gonna be using the uh, enable a okay so you got to remove the jumper okay the connector jumper okay and now the connector so now you you, you connect the uh, Enable A of the DC motor driver to pin 9. Pin 9 is able to produce PWM signal. So that's why we are connecting the Enable A to this Arduino pin. So now uh, this uh, red wire is uh, we are connecting to input uh, 1. Okay, in 1, in 1 to Arduino pin 8 okay we're, 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 we're almost done with our setup now next we we connect um, the cable the uh, Arduino's cable to upload the sketch Okay, so now we need to power up the L twenty nine eight and DC motor driver with a uh, out of an external power supply. So our DC motor is six volt DC motor. So our external power supply will be 7.4 volt okay 7.4 volt
uh, why is a seven point four volt because we have loss okay so um, now I grab the plus of the seven point four volt I mean the ground okay the minus then I grab the plus of uh, this power supply okay like that okay I think we we're done we're, we're done here okay we make it beautiful okay beautiful that's our schematic diagram okay this is our sketch okay so uh, our sketch you got to to install the easy button easy button library if you go to library okay i've already installed it now um you create the uh, uh the button function object okay okay next uh the ena the enable pin a okay is the uh, l three nine eight n dc model i mean the uh, p9 okay the arduino p9 nine okay is attached to to enable a of the dc model driver okay so um, this is now the input one in one in one of the uh, the driver is attached to 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 pin eight pin eight is the arduino pin is uh, the uh, arduino pin okay okay the arduino uno pin eight two L two nine eight and this model driver enable a input pin okay so input so the input one so we, we we don't need to change okay the value of the uh, in one okay so the so that that's why in one okay is is uh, an output okay will remain high okay so this is the push button and uh, this is so the digital write inside of setup function um, uh, will allow us okay allow okay the in one to remain constant okay constant that that means um uh, we, we are giving okay per permanently to in one the value high
So we leave, we loop the button. So we are counting through pushes. I, I, I don't know if we can say that. So pushes. So when when we, we pull we push the button we are we we start counting. Okay, that's the uh, speed three, speed four, um, speed five. Next, uh, 215 is the speed six, speed, no, speed five, speed six. Now here, after default with this line so here we are um um uh, we are re resetting okay the count okay or the counting uh, uh, count so when uh the count okay reach reaches um six so we reset it in order to go back to zero and we are using the switch function okay the analog right has the job to to deliver the pwm signal to arduino pin 8 okay Okay, we're almost done. Yeah, so the analog right, so you will understand. So I'm going to provide, okay, the sketch in the video description. So now you go to tools to, tools to choose your board and your, uh, your port on which the Arduino is connected to we can upload the code onto Arduino Uno and see the, uh, the results.